Hey there guys, Phil Dawson here, back with a new video and a lot of you people requested me to basically do a camera comparison between the Canon G7X Mark II and the Sony A5100. These are both compact digital cameras which are very often used for vlogging purpose. So I would say let's check which compact vlog camera is the best for 2016 because we're in the middle of 2016 now and these are in my opinion the best compact models to go for if you're looking for a vlogging camera so let's first begin with some specky stuff uh, this Canon G7X Mark II has a one inch sensor similar to the uh, sensor that was in the Mark I so a good sensor for low light capabilities which is better than a lot of other compact cameras the sony a5100 is slightly bigger especially because of the lens and this also has a bigger sensor so that means you have better low light performance from the sensor but the option with this camera which you don't have on this one is you have a exchangeable lens system that means you can use any e-mount lens for this uh, Sony camera and that also means you can have much more different kinds of looks and depth of field and all these different kind of things which you can achieve with different lenses. So uh, on the other hand this camera has a 24 to 70 lens with a minimum aperture of 1.8 that means you can get this blurry background as you can see here at the moment which I'm filming with my full frame camera which has an even bigger sensor than these two cameras anyway this is a bit complicated basically this is a very good lens inside here and on the A5100 often it comes with a kit lens this is the 16 to 50 which is on here at the moment as well which is also used for this test and uh, yeah this lens is a great compact and very versatile lens. It isn't the strongest in low light performance, but it gives you a lot of different things that you can zoom in, gets nice depth of field through the zoom range because you can go up to 50 millimeters. On this one, by the way, you can go up to 100. So that's quite a lot as well. That's really good for that as well. But this one's slightly more wide eye of the feeling because it's a 16 millimeter, obviously, and this one's 24. Uh, other things I set to is uh, I put everything to automatic mode for this video so you can well basically compare it easier and um, yeah they both have the flip up displays which is great for vlogging but remember always look into the lens not into the display and uh, another thing which is new to the Canon G7X Mark II which the Sony can't do is that it has the possibility to well swivel the screen downwards yeah, so a lot of different kind of things. Um, I've did I've done reviews on both cameras, so you should know all the different uh, possibilities you have with this camera or with these cameras. And um, yeah, I would say let's get into the comparison of these two. But before we start, you may ask yourself why I'm using this really strange rig. Very simple. You can vlog with both cameras at the same time, and they both get the same kind of shake and everything and they always have the same distance towards me so this is the reason why I've got this self-built really um, yeah strange rig but this is what it is <laughs> we'll start up in this room basically you've got no lights on and we'll change walk into a hallway I'm just gonna walk into different light situations and you can see while walking what kind of image stabilization I have and how the cameras react to different lighting situations here we have no lights on lights coming from the windows down there so yeah could be a bit complicated but you can then see how the cameras well react to the different situations what i've noticed quite a lot is that the g7x quite often overexposes when it comes into a different light situation and the sony well underexposes uh yeah but make an opinion for yourself i'm walking into different rooms and uh, yeah you can get the shake i'm just holding this on the rig they both have image stabilization on obviously the Sony image stabilization is only from the lens and the Canon G7X has always had a very famous I would say famous uh, image stabilization because it's got a combination of digital image stabilization and optical through the lens so it's a very intelligent and very good working image stabilization <laughs> okay so this is me walking into different rooms and um, by the way, if you think that cupboard is empty, that's because I don't live here anymore. We're only here for a holiday. <laughs> I'm now based in Germany again. But if you're following me on my channel, I think you should know that. So I would say now it's time for autofocus test and to see which camera has the best autofocus. Because the G7X1 always was very famous for losing autofocus. 
and wasn't be very well yeah well, it just wasn't too good so let's go outside and do that okay guys so now we're outside in the garden and uh, yeah I guess a lot of you people want to know what my full frame camera is then so I thought I'd get this out as a subject to see how the autofocus will work if we first focus on the garden house and then onto the camera we just swivel over these displays again so from the garden house getting the focus there and then getting the focus onto the camera and see how fast it focuses back again and there again okay so let's do this again from there towards the camera by the way you can also see the blurry background here the differences on the A5100 and the G7X the Sony A5100 is at 3.5 aperture but the bigger sensor gives it a big well a bit of a better blurry background that's the feeling I have yeah so um, let me go from the camera to my face back to the house back to my face see which one grabs the face quickest back to the camera back to me and just so you can see that it is possible to get blurry backgrounds with the G7X I'm going to zoom in and you're going to see how the background is getting even more blurry and blurry and blurry and then we do the same with the A5100 okay there's one thing I really can't test as good in this test and that is the durability the Canon G7X Mark 1 always has been a very well it's not really the most reliable camera a lot of popular vloggers use them and a lot of popular vloggers always say something about the durability the lens cap sometimes doesn't always open properly or the focus goes totally off at some point some point and it's just a not so much of a reliable camera the Sony A5100 I've took it to India I have thrown it around and everything and it's still been holding his paces I haven't had any problems but one thing I can see while well, doing this here as well is that the flip up screen has much more reflections than the Sony so the G7X Mark II has the better screen at the top we can do a small run I'm just trying to make this as most realistic as possible so running and having the well, image stabilization follow me along and yeah <laughs> now that was it for the running part so to give this video a bit of a vloggy atmosphere, we're now going to do some, well, normal stuff which you do in a normal day, in a normal vlog, and that is to clean this car. I would like to go in that one, but unfortunately the insurance is too expensive for me at the moment. Okay guys, we just want to leave, but as you can see, I will have to move the Bentley because we won't be able to get out of here. Oh, wrong side. Not in Germany. There we go. Let's give it a bit of sound just because I like it. Enough of that. <laughs> Just so you know what's happening, we're going to clean this car because we're basically selling it. My brother is the owner of this car, he's in Spain at the moment, but we're taking care of selling the car as he's away. So um, why are we selling it? Basically because we all moved back to Germany and only are here, well, part time, we're not so often here, we're just here on the holidays. And um, yeah, so my brother and me, we live in Germany now and we have to get a car there, well he's already got one, I haven't got one yet. And uh, yeah, a bit of confusing stuff, but that's basically what's happening. So, let's get this baby clean.
We're back at home now and the guy that wanted to buy the car, um, he had some changes in plans and stuff so he couldn't come. I don't know if he's going to come tomorrow. Anyway, it's already turned night now and I thought it would be a best opportunity now to do a small low light test. Um, so let's check outside. Unfortunately it's raining but um, we'll quickly go outside in the rain <laughs> and check the low light capabilities of this camera. So yeah. This is the light coming from inside, you can see, and then lighting me up. This is the low light capabilities. You can see how the background, if it's lit up or not, and how the light is catching my face and all this kind of stuff. So yeah, and I would say this would be it for the uh, low light test and camera comparison. So I hope you liked this video. I better get inside before the cameras get too wet. And uh, yeah, there you can see that overexposure on the G7, it always when you change light situation, it always happens, I don't know why. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you well could make your decision up on which camera is the best one for you. So yeah, I would really appreciate if you like, subscribe and share this video so everyone else that's looking for a G7X Mark II or a Sony A5100, basically a compact vlogging camera, can then also see this video and make up his decision on which one to get. By the way, Amazon links are down below, they do support me and it's not any extra charge or cost for you guys. And yeah, I would say that would be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Uh, that's not gonna work out.